Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan The Organizer. So, on today's episode, I'll be giving you lower cost alternatives for some detailing brushes. So, essentially, we're going to be washing the wheels today with some uh, alternatives that cost a lot less than traditional brushes. And it's from a company called MJJC. So, you've probably seen a recent video on my channel about the MJJC Foam Cannon. By the way, they updated this for a lot higher performance in foaming. It was already very good, but now they bumped the performance up a notch. So, a very good and inexpensive foam cannon. And today we're going to be basically uh, cleaning this wheel and showing you all the new brushes that they have. So, this uh, tire brush, very inexpensive. Same thing for these wheel brushes to get into the spokes. So, they have different sizes. These are flexible. You can even remove the cover to wash it if need be. And they also have this other brush with some tips that are chemical resistant. But the most important that is that it won't break the bank. And I know many of my viewers are always asking me for lower cost alternatives. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So as I said today, we're going to be looking at MJJC brushes and microfiber products and even their foam cannon. So recently on my channel, as you guys know, I did a review of the MJJC foam cannon because you guys often ask me to help you find some lower cost alternatives to car detailing tools, equipment and products. And this company just delivers the goods. So they updated their foam cannon for a uh, better quality internals, which means you're going to get higher quality foam, so thicker, richer foam. We're going to see that in a couple of seconds on this test vehicle but essentially today we're going to be doing some quick wheel cleaning by the way guys i'll make sure to include the links to all the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so just sit back relax and enjoy the show so what do we have today essentially they have these wheel brushes that have a flexible stem and they're this kind of microfiber covering on top that you can remove to also wash so let me show you how easy this is so i have a model here you basically pinch you remove you can take this and put it in your washer and clean it as you would with normal microfiber towels. You slip it back on and that's it. You're good to go. They have these knuckle guards, of course, that will protect your hands when you're going deep inside the spokes. They have nice ergonomic handles. They also have these holes here that you can attach and uh, let them to hang if you're organized like Pan the Organizer in your garage. They have a bunch of different tools. So, I'll, of course, I'll invite you to check out the links. But uh, essentially, they also have this cool wheel brush that I'll be using today for the face of the wheels. It has these bristles that are, of course, chemical resistant because you're using wheel cleaners and you're using degreasers and all that kind of good stuff. They also have a tire brush. So this resembles the uh, Tough Shine tire brush that I love. So very good handle, very good ergonomics. And we're going to use this to scrub the uh, tire, the uh, walls of the tire here. And then you have some good quality microfiber drying towels for the wheels. And they also have microfiber wash mitts. Of course, I always love uh, these Chenille type uh, microfiber wash mitts. Very plush, of course, for the paint. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do with the wheel and the tools. So let me go ahead. Rinse the wheel off first. So the chemicals that we'll be using, the Adams tire and rubber cleaner. So this is a very good cleaner degreaser for the uh, tire walls here. This is going to help to remove any previous dressing, get rid of the browning. You let that dwell for a couple of seconds. And then we have Adam's wheel cleaner. So this is a wheel cleaner that has an iron remover inside it. So it's going to remove the iron filings. So we're going to spray that on the faces of the wheels. Be very liberal. So now that it's doing its work, let's go ahead and put these brushes to the test. So we're going to be dipping them in just any car shampoo that you guys have. You put that in your bucket. I always have a separate wheel bucket, by the way, separate from the buckets I use from the paint because you don't want cross contamination. And you just go in there and start scrubbing. Look at all that gunk that's coming out here. Of course, you always want to make sure that you're cleaning the barrels of your wheels. The iron particles remover is working because it's transforming or it's changing color to this uh, purple color now. You get behind the calipers. So very flexible, as you can tell with the stem. So I like that feature. Very gentle for any wheel finishes because it has this kind of microfiber topper up top. 
So very, very safe, again, for any wheel finishes. So we set that aside. We're gonna take this other brush that's chemical resistant, and we're gonna go ahead and do the faces of the wheels. Again, very safe for any wheel finish. <laughs> look at all that gunk that's falling on. Look, look at all this, guys. I don't know if you can tell on camera. So very, very good job. All right, so now, spray a bit more of this tire degreaser. Spray a bit on the face of the brush. And we're gonna scrub the tire wall. So as you can tell, you get browning. So this here is a sign that we're cleaning the tire. It's very important. And you're gonna keep on reapplying the degreaser ideally until you get white foam, which means you'll have fully cleaned the tire. So very easy to use brush. Very ergonomic. Make sure you do a proper scrubbing job. These tires haven't been cleaned in a while. Now we're gonna rinse all of this off. We're gonna reapply tire and rubber cleaner and see what we get out of this. Of course, also clean the brush, because look at how dirty this gets. And it cleans right off. Now we're good to go for the second pass. And you see guys, so now the foam is white. So this tells me that we properly cleaned the tire. So this is what you want. This way, you've removed any previous tire dressing and your new dressing will properly bond to the tire and you'll get higher performance and longer durability out of your new dressing. That's it guys, we have clean wheels and tires. Thanks of course to the uh, MJJC equipment. So what you can also do is use their microfiber wash mitt if you don't necessarily wanna use the brush or different alternatives to clean the faces of the wheels. That's up to you guys to decide. And of course, well, when you're done, if you don't have a car dryer, again, no need to invest, you can use a microfiber drying towel and you simply go ahead and you dry those wheels up the tires can dry on their own, and then you can apply your tire dressing afterwards. And that's it, top job. All right, guys, so now we'll be uh, testing the new updated version of the MJJC Foam Cannon. So I tested the original version on my channel and it was a very good bang for buck because it's an inexpensive way to use a foam cannon. You're gonna see just how thick and rich the foam is and it gets even better with the updated version. So it's an inexpensive part. Of course, it's very high quality. You have a brass body here. You already have the quick disconnect fitting that comes with it. And uh, yeah, it gives good quality foam. It now comes with a uh, edgeless microfiber towel you also get an extra filter for inside and you also get a 1.1 millimeter orifice if you don't want to use the 1.25 millimeter orifice. So for example, if you have a lower powered pressure washer, you can swap the orifices. They uh, give you that with it. And you can also control how uh, big the fan spreads with a control nozzle here up front. And it's pretty, pretty simple. But... So come in close guys, look at all this thick lather. So very nice, very thick. You can see it dripping here, come lower. So a very good job by the foam cannon.
So guys, again, I remind you that I'll include all the links to the products that I presented in this video. I'll put those links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Of course, I want to give a big shout out to MJJC. Thank you for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. So hats off to you guys at the MJJC headquarters. Also, if you guys like these types of videos and you want me to continue to present you lower cost alternatives to products, equipment, and uh, different tools used in detailing, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you uh, have tried some of the MJJC stuff or even the foam cannon that I tested on my channel, make sure to drop a comment in the comment section under the video. And guys, well, in the meantime, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.